Joining me is Edgar Street, Yang Bukowski. How on earth has that game ended up goalless? Yeah, again, scratching my head, as I said on Tuesday. Uh, plenty of chances again. I think, once again, we've matched our chance creation from Tuesday with 16 attempts on goal. Uh, we've hit the bar, their goalies make good saves. Um, that combined with a bit of poor finishing as well, I must say that, um, means that we don't get three points today, but we do get a point. And you, were you concerned when the penalty was given to Telford late in the game? Yeah, because I didn't think our performance deserved that. I think it would have been um, hugely disappointing if we were on the back end of a, a loss, uh, considering what effort the players have put in and, and again, how they've played. So, um, well done to Dino. He's done his homework. It's a great save. And then I, I thought that gave us a real lift and a bit more belief that we could go on and get the winner. Uh, but just ran out of time. The, the penalty itself, what, what, what did you make of that? I, I couldn't see it. There was three or four bodies in front of me, um, kind of a little bit of a melee. Um, the ref decided, uh, and then fortunately for us, Dino's, uh, Dino stepped up. You went from the start with, with pace again up front, miles down the middle, and that seemed to really work, but without getting the, you know, hit in the back of the net. Yeah, I thought miles was outstanding. He, his performance was electric again. I thought he caused some problems all afternoon, um, and I'd just like him to get a few more goals to um, you know, give him those goals that his performances deserve, really. Uh, Ryan was a threat again. Um, he's had a couple of chances today. Their keeper's made a great save, and then he probably should score at the end. Um, but look, the, the boys are trying. Um, what we do have now is a week with, with no midweek fixtures, so we can really get some work in on the training pitch rather than just doing rest and recovery sessions. Um, we can try and get the boys in some rhythm and, and getting used to hitting back in there again. Uh, Kane Thompson Summers came off at half time. What's the news there? Oh, I think he was on the back end of a, a, a poor challenge and he just rolled his ankle. So. Um, we're hoping it's only going to be a week or so. Some of the players might be back in contention for next week who are on the sidelines at the minute. Yeah, a couple uh, will return to, to training next week. So Luke Haynes, Oren Penley. Um, it was great to have Harry Pinchard back involved and I thought he did well when he came on. Um, so yeah, to have those boys back, fresh faces with, with fresh energy um, should stand us in good stead. What's your assessment for the next eight games, just eight games left for Hereford? Are you setting a points target? Um, How is it going to work? From, from a coaching perspective? I'd like to score a goal first, um, first and foremost. Uh, and I think once we do that, then I just think it will relieve a little bit of pressure um, and the boys will flourish from that point. It's We're always going to win games. We tried to win on Tuesday away at Chorley. Um, we were outstanding. We tried to take the game here to, to Telford again, and rightly so, because we're there in the league and we should be looking to win all of our home games. Um, so the mentality and the game plan around trying to win football matches remains uh, and, and the boys will give their best shot until the end of the season. Wing backs seem to be very important for Josh Browning uh, getting forward. Is that the, the, similar with you? Because Levy Andrew uh, had an outstanding game today, apart from that penalty. Yeah, that's the modern day fullback. Uh, we want our fullbacks to join in and be an attacking threat. Um, they probably, with our central midfielders, cover the most ground. So it's a hard task for them, but I mean, it makes a bigger difference to our attacking play. And Levy was so, so unlucky with the one that's crashed off the bar. Um, I thought his drive, I think he grew into the game, he got more confident as he started to get a few opportunities. So his goal's coming. I know he's got one away at Kidderminster, but I think that's something that he can add to his game. I know he's a defender first and foremost, uh, and it's about keeping clean sheets for him. Um, but I think he's got the ability to add goals and more, more assists to his, to his game. Now, I'm sure the players will look at it once again as a challenge next week away at Darlington. Uh, they're going for one of the playoff positions. Um, so, in a way, you don't necessarily need to motivate the players for that, for that one. No, the group's highly motivated. You know, they've been outstanding every game that, that we've been involved in as a group, um, and they're trying to win football matches for the club. They're, they're desperate to try and make the playoffs if they can. Um, so, look, we have to go to Darlington and show that same appetite to, to win a game, that, that attacking play that's been very evident um, over the last four games. Um, but we do have to sit the ball in back in there. You seem to be enjoying it. Um, what's the latest with your position? Has that, has that changed in any shape or form? No, very much the same. Um, been given the role to the end of the season, uh, and then obviously uh, the club will discuss that uh, at that end point. So no discussions on that point. What points target you might be, or something like that. Are you in the frame for that? Would you now consider it if the position was offered to you permanently? No, I think it's about concentrating on on this season and not looking too far ahead. Uh, and certainly on Darlington, um, we have to find ways to score foot, uh, to score goals to win football matches. And that's what our sole focus will be going forward. But you don't rule yourself out of being in the frame if it was offered? I'll, I'll be honest, I've not even thought about next season. Um, I've got a couple of full-time roles myself and two children. Um, I'm just focusing on what the here and now is. Thanks for your time. You're welcome.